Hey guys, Allie here. Welcome to episode 95 of Controller Nation Weekly for the week of May 19th, 2013. The Xbox One was announced this week, which is the next Xbox. So we have plenty of news on that, plus other stories that got overlooked due to that big announcement. So let's get to them. We start this week with the new Xbox. Woo! Microsoft held a press conference this week where they debuted the Xbox One. The new console has an 8-core CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, a new Kinect, and wireless controller. The console will not be backwards compatible, however, and will be available later this year. The Xbox press conference came with a lot of game announcements. Battlefield 4 will be available on Xbox 360 and PS3 on October 29th, with PS4 and Xbox One versions at some point. Thief is heading to the Xbox One as well as the PS4 and PC. Xbox One is also getting Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed 4, Forza 5, Rise, and Quantum Break. The biggest news about Xbox One games, though, is that there will be 15 exclusive games in the first 12 months. The Call of Duty exclusivity DLC agreement that's on the Xbox 360 will continue to the new console. Speaking of exclusive DLC, the Xbox One will see exclusive content for the FIFA, Madden, and NBA Live franchises, with FIFA 14 set to launch on September 24th. Rounding out the Xbox One news, the new Kinect will be available for PC in 2014. A new Halo TV series will be launching on the new console with support from Steven Spielberg. Well, that's enough Microsoft. Right, Reddit? Okay. And Xbox One talk, so let's get to other news. Civilization V is getting the Brave New World DLC in July. Penny Arcade Rain Slick Precipice 4 is coming July 7th as part of the celebration. Zeboid is giving away Steam copies of Rain Slick Precipice 3 for free. Spicy Horse's new Oz game will be called Oh Zombie. Batman Arkham Origins will have Deathstroke playable in some form. June 25th marks the release of Best of PlayStation Network Volume 1, which collects When Vikings Attack, Sound Shapes, Tokyo Jungle, and Fat Princess in a retail form for $40. It makes me think of Honey Boo Boo when I hear Fat Princess. Epic Mickey 2 is headed to the Vita on June 18th. Metro Last Light is getting a season pass with the first piece of DLC to arrive in June. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition is heading to the PC on July 3rd. The Assassin's Creed film is moving forward with a projected release date of May 22nd, 2015. I love you, Michael Fassbender. We end this week with the news that Trion Worlds was hit with layoffs this week. As always, we wish everyone involved the best of luck with any future endeavors. So that'll end it for this episode. We got a Facebook and a Twitter and get up on it and we'll see you here again next week.